Lukwago arrived in style for his swearing-in ceremony led by police patrol vehicle and hired motorcycle outriders from Kibuli Mosque where he first attended Juma prayers. But his arrival at City Hall was welcomed by heavy deployment of police complete with tear gas canisters and dogs. He is pleased to allow in his supporters fell on deaf ears. Frustrated at being refused, Lukwag at first drove off in protest. Before surfacing later to be sworn in. Several leaders were present among them, FDC leader Dr. Kiza Besije and former mayor Sebana Kizito. Lukwago then took to the dice to take oath of allegiance to the authority. Then he was handed the instruments of power as Kampala Lord Mayor. Now is the time to put some of our bitter rivalries, our past frustrations, and our personal egos in the back seat and embark on the enormous task of building and modernizing our city. Then Lukwag unveiled his action plan while pledging to work with the authority for better delivery of services. Our infrastructure in Igeno has suffered perpetual neglect so much that the word Kampala is synonymous with potholes, dust, floods, overflowing sewage, traffic jam, total darkness, and so on and so forth. Lord Mayor, you are assured of my support and the support of government, and we believe that together we shall make Kampala shine and become the real capital city for Uganda. Earlier, 30 councillors from the various divisions of Kampala were sworn in and they pledged to work with Lukwago despite their differing political affiliations. Despite of our different political affiliations, as an animal, we are many, we are 20 oppositions. DP, they are like, just like six. But let him not fear. Let us unite together and make a difference. Lukwago's swearing in marked the last process to constitute the long awaited Kampala Capital City Authority. What remains now is whether it will meet the public's expectations and deliver adequate services. Hilara Yesiga, NTV.